Hi, my name is Lauren Forkin. I'm 20 years old and I'm living here in Castlebar. Uh, I'm currently a freelance makeup artist and my interests include makeup, music and the gym. Um, my inspiration, I think, from my makeup would be from when I was younger. I used to do makeup on my mother um, and she absolutely loved it. Like, it just made it feel so good and I loved that feeling of making someone else feel really happy in themselves. And I think that just made me want to pursue my career even further. So I worked for Smashbox Cosmetics and I flew over to London to pursue my career even further. Um, I'm also a huge advocate for the Irish Cancer Society. Um, it's a charity that I hold very close to my heart and I raised money for it by Climber Kilpatrick and it was an amazing experience. Uh, I'll never forget it. Um, I just want to say a huge thank you to Kelly's Hair Salon Casabar who is my official sponsor for this year's Miss Mayo competition. Um, I asked them and they kindly said yes, uh, which I was over the moon with because I get my hair done there all the time. They're the only place I actually trust and they always know what I want. Like. I don't even need to ask them now at this point. They just know what I want. And I always come out looking so good and feeling so confident. And I think that stems in with my makeup. I like people to feel really confident in themselves, always have a smile on their face afterwards. And yeah, so a big thank you to Kelly's Hair Salon Casabara. You're a great bunch, a great people to talk to. So yeah, thanks a million. Hi, my name is Georgia Mellish and I'm 20 years old. I have been kindly sponsored by Kieran Collins of Collinmore Island Lodge for Miss Mayo 2020. I am currently studying nutritional sciences in University College Cork and my course choice was highly influenced by my passion for health and fitness. I have been a competitive swimmer my whole life and recently represented both Ireland and UCC at the Celtic Nations in Cardiff. When I'm not on the water, I enjoy cooking and going to the gym. I'm from Westport, which was voted one of the best places to live in Ireland. When I began to think of a potential sponsor for Miss Mayo 2020, I began to realise the sheer amount of great quality businesses right on my doorstep. In the age of e-commerce, time and time again, smaller businesses are being set aside for larger branded, monopolising corporations. This is why I approached Kieran Collins of Collinmore Island Lodge. In the current environment and staycations being the flavour of the month, I felt that by partnering with Collinmore Island Lodge, I could do my bit in promoting and spreading awareness of all its unique and top quality offerings during these tough times. Miss Mayo, by definition, is a representation of all the county has to offer, and I couldn't be prouder standing with my co-contestants two metres apart, knowing we are doing our bit to spread a light on all the businesses that are integral to its survival. I am so grateful for this opportunity that has been provided to me and wish all the girls the best of luck on their journey. Hello everyone, my name is Leah Elkham and I'm just going to do a quick video for you so you can get to know me a little bit better. I'm from the town of Westport. I always said that if I didn't live here I'd love to come on holidays here. There's no place like it when the sun is shining. I'm so lucky to be sponsored by the lovely ladies in Golden's Pharmacy here in Westport. They have been so kind to support me on my journey and I can't wait to be pampered by them on the big day. Although I'd love to be introducing myself in person, I'm hoping that this video can give you a little bit of an insight into my life. Over the last couple of months, I've been trying to keep myself busy and positive while waiting for my leaving cert results. I've found a new love for painting. Along with exercise, it has been a great way to keep my mind healthy and positive over these trying times. I'm so glad that I could turn something unfortunate into a newfound passion. Keeping a positive mental attitude is something I find so important, especially when I'm going to be moving away and opening a new chapter of my life. Mayo has really given my confidence the boost that I needed to really put myself out there, and I'm so grateful to be alongside a lovely group of girls that always encourage you to be the best version of yourself. I'm a very goal-orientated person, and I'm taking this as my own personal challenge to see how much I can really put myself out there. I'd like to thank everyone across the board for having me and making this such an exciting experience. I can't wait to see you all on the big day. My name is Amy Kane and I'm 20 years old. I'm a proud Mayo woman and I come from the beautiful village of Calm. I am currently in my third year in the University of Limerick studying politics and international relations. And when I graduate, I hope to work for the European Union in an area of youth engagement. I would describe myself as someone who is friendly, outgoing, ambitious and hardworking. My chosen charity for the Miss Mayo competition is Plan International. Plan International are a global NGO who work tirelessly for women and children in areas such as disaster relief, education, legal representation and so much more. 
This past year, I have worked with Plan International on their Youth Advisory Panel, which has given me a great opportunity to have my voice heard on issues which I think are important to young people. My habits include horse riding, which I've been training and competing in for the last 10 years. I also enjoy swimming in the sea and spending time with my family and friends. I love to travel and to meet new people, and these past two summers I've spent them in Spain working as an English teacher in summer camps. An interesting fact about me is that this October I am due to speak in front of the European Union for the European Week of Action for Girls as part of the work that I do with Plan International. I'm also a massive Gossip Girl fan and would give anything to have Blair Waldorf's wardrobe. I would love to be Miss Mayo because I'd love to, set, to represent my county on a national stage and to grow myself personally and to meet with so many other empowering young Irish women. Yeah, my name is Kiva Horan, I'm 19 and I'm a proud Mayo woman. My sponsor for this year's Miss Mayo is Mimi Boutique in Castlebar. They are an unreal dress boutique who I've gone to for every big occasion in my life. Uh, for my devs, my third year ball, and I've always been so happy with the dresses that I've gotten. So I'm delighted to have them as a sponsor. Um, I'm the middle child of five children, but um, I'm not the stereotypical forgotten one. Uh, definitely not. Um, an interesting fact about me is that I've nearly died three times, <laughs> so I feel like I'm here for a reason. Um, alive, not in this competition, but alive for a reason. So I had an asthma attack when I was like three years old, uh, nearly died from that. I was in a car crash when I was 12, and I had an anaphylactic shock when I was like 13. Um, so three times I ended up in hospital nearly dead <laughs> but I'm still here, still kicking and still trying new things and trying to make the best life that I can. Some of my interests are dancing so I've been doing ballet since I was five years old up until last year. Um, I stopped when I went to college but I'm thinking of taking it back up again. Um, I'm doing digital marketing in college and I went into my second year in Athlone and I've just become a proud um, student ambassador for the college so I'm delighted about that. I uh, can't wait for the year ahead and to see what happens. It's going to be a weird one with like coronavirus and finding out what's going to happen with college and classes and social distancing and all this, but it'll be interesting to see what happens. And I'm glad that I can be a part of you know, the college community and helping out and working alongside the college on all this kind of stuff as a student ambassador. I have an Instagram with over 5,000 followers where I post fashion kind of stuff, but that's taken a back seat lately. I'd love to get back into it and hopefully collab with brands in the future um, that I actually like and care about. And I am kind of want to start focusing on YouTube and uh, posting videos about your mindset and mental health and having uh, being positive and all this kind of stuff and just changing how you see the world, how you see yourself and just overall having like a better life, a better lifestyle, better outlook on life. Hi, my name is Rebecca Leedham. I am 20 years old and I am living in Balavari. I am currently studying veterinary nursing in Sligo and I work as a dog groomer in my local dog groomers in Swinford. Um, and that's what I'd love to do in the future is build my own dog grooming business. Um, I'm also taking part in the Dog Stress and 99 for Canines, um, which is where you walk 99k for the month of August to raise money for the Dog Stress dogs in need. Um, my hobbies include um, dog grooming, anything to do with animals, and horse riding. I've been horse riding since I could walk. Um, my sponsor is Creative Copy, um, which is a copywriting service. Creative Copy also does web designs and white papers. And I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Lisa so much for all her amazing support. Um, a fun fact about me is I was born on the first of the first 2000, making me a millennium baby. Hey, my name is Olivia Barrett, I'm 20 years of age from Shamaris County Mayo. I'm going into my third year of college next week as I start my placement in Limerick City Council. I'm currently studying criminal justice in UL and I prosper to become a barrister once I finish my studies. My sponsor for this year's Miss Mayo competition is HG Hair Mars. I'm so honoured to have an award winning salon. 
like HGA, sponsoring me throughout this journey. Hannah and all of her staff have been absolutely amazing and I cannot thank Hannah enough. She's been an absolute gem. I love singing at family events and I would also love to travel. I've travelled a good few countries now at the young age of 20 but I'd also love to go on and travel the whole world. I do a lot of fundraising within my local GA club, especially during this COVID pandemic. We all came together and made massive funds for very young, sick children in order for them to get the successful operations and care that they needed. It was great to see such a valuable community involvement and it was great to be part of that. I have represented Mayo in both soccer and Gaelic football. When I was underage, it was a great experience. Met loads of different girls all across the county and I still do remain in contact with a lot of them today. Last year, when I was in college, I tried out Aussie Rules football for the crack just to meet new girls. A few of us went down and luckily enough, I managed to get onto the Irish team and I represented Ireland against Great Britain. It was one of the best experiences of my life. I met so many different people from all over Ireland. I not only did I represent Mayo, but I also represented UL and I also represented Ireland and it was a great achievement for myself. And it was also a great way of meeting new people and you know, just embracing the new friendships that you do meet through sport. Um, I absolutely love sport and I play football for Clamaris LGFA and soccer for Kilchman Not United. I am heavily involved in my community. Myself and my family are managers for the under 16 girls team. Um, it's great to see young girls going out playing football and I believe that it does help people's mental health. I've seen it in my own family that going out kicking a ball, even if it's just kicking a ball against the wall, it really does help you mentally as, as also physically. Um, I have lucky enough been um, selected as a manager for the Mayo Soccer under 12s team and under 14s team who went on to gain a cup down in the University of Limerick. The Miss Mayo journey has been absolutely whirlwind. I'm so delighted to be part of it, so honoured to be a part of this 2020 campaign. Um, I cannot wait for next weekend just to see everyone again and have the crack, make loads of memories, take loads of pictures and just cherish them for the rest of my life. Um, I can't wait to meet you all and I'll see you next week. Also, before I leave, special mention to Alan, Erin and Dennis for all the amazing work that they've done throughout this um, competition. They have been absolutely extraordinary so I really do appreciate that and I'm sure all the other girls do too. Thanks so much. A fun fact about me is that my godmother is in fact Philomena Begley's the Queen of Country Music's daughter so it's great to have that in my family. So far my Miss Mayo journey has been absolutely incredible. I have just been embracing the whole experience gone with the flow and it has just been whirlwind especially during these difficult times it's just been so amazing to have something to just take your mind off it and a way to meet new people have fun and just all the memories that you make along the way i'd also like to thank the mentors for making this happen dennis alan and aaron you've been an absolute dream so honored to be working alongside you and i can't wait to see everyone next week for the big final thanks <laughs>